top three drivers will transfer. Twenty laps of distance in our first of two B mains. The top three to transfer into the inside row at the back of the national title and we are hammer down and Mick Nicola, or Peter Nicola, gets a ripping start here and hammers down the back. Darren Giacometti is second. Lee Williams is next on the racetrack. Look at these cars on the bounce. On the ruts as Lee Williams gets up on the inside of Giacometti. And Giacometti is absolutely after it here, Smalley. He is indeed a little bit of a touch between the two leaders as Lionel West gets very close to the concrete wall and turns three and four and loses a bunch of spots in the process. As Peter Nicola, big mid corner push, the race leader nearly opened the door for his fellow Victorian Dak, Darren Giacometti to drive through on the bottom side of the racetrack. Lee Williams has got Neil Whitnish nipping at his heels, trying to take away that final transfer position. Remember, race fans, we're taking the top three to the back of uh, the A-Main tonight and top three from the next B-Main as well. As the two Victorians, the V2 and the V12 of Giacometti and Nicola race world to world off turn number four here at the fantastic picturesque Waterline Speedway, Mount Gambia, South Australia. Steve Swartz and Wayne Dick, door handle to door handle in the turn number one. Wayne Dick, the New South Wales number seven, working the bottom on Steve Swartz, Lionel West is seven from Dave McKenzie, Kimball Islet, Mark Towers, Kim Cottrell, and Kim Jury. In the South Australian 93 rounds them out. We've still got 15 laps remaining in B-Main number one. And uh, the former Queensland and Victorian champion, Peter Nicole leads, but he's got a very, very ill-handling race car, you have to feel, Rhino. Yeah, not wrong, as Darren Giacometti put on a good move there as Peter Nicole has been struggling out there a little and I reckon this racetrack has completely changed in the last half an hour. Oh! Witness a big bicycle on two wheels. That was a big moment in turn four there. That time around for Witness. He is trying to work his way into the show here as Lee Williams goes upstairs on Peter Nicola who also bicycles up on two wheels. I was just saying the racetrack has completely changed in the last 15 minutes and you can see that smallly. Everyone out there is way too tight and they're not handling the bumps very well at all. No, they aren't. There's some very horrible looking race cars out that moment in a, in a handling sense as Lionel West has uh, nearly stood the car up on two wheels in turn number two in the Victoria 71. He sits back in seventh. We're halfway home. Ten down and ten remaining. And being number one is uh, Peter Nicola has uh, taken the Victoria number two to the infield, so his national title is over. The man who led the early laps of B-Main number one, Darren Giacometti, not that he realises that he's got a handy gap back to the Queensland four Lee Williams, and all of a sudden, Neil Whitnish, who's 41st in points after night one, finds himself in a transfer position in uh, this first of two B-Mains in the Victoria 56. Steve Swartz is fourth, trying to reel in Neil Whitnish in front of him from Wayne Dick, Lionel West, and uh, the insane chassis, the V24 of Dave McKenzie as Kim Wylett retires from the race with a puff of smoke from Canama 9. Absolutely hammer down here. And Giacometti, who was a little untidy through turn four that time, as Kimball Aylett retires to the infield as well. Kim Cottrell just rubbed off the wall. Second and third is the action here. Lee Williams up the top, witness through the middle. And that's incredible. He was 41st in points, as Smalley said. And he finds himself at the moment potentially starting tonight's A main for position 21. Giacometti leads. Lee Williams, Witness, our best presented driver this weekend, Steve Swartz, is fourth. And Witness is right behind Lee Williams with four laps remaining. Yeah, Whitney's trying to find a way past Lee Williams. Steve Swartz tries, he may. Just can't uh, reel the two in front of him to try and steal one of those uh, final transfer positions. As uh, Darren Giacomani has three laps remaining between himself and a victory in B-Main number one. Brought to you by Carlton and United Breweries. Lee Williams all the way from Blackwater in central Queensland sits in second from Will N Neil Whitney. And a fast closing. South Australian number 99 is Steve Swartz. Two to run. 
And Darren Giacomini ever so slightly just falling in the clutches of the four car at Lee Williams. Further back, Wayne Dick is still holding off uh, Lionel West for fifth. Dave McKenzie is seventh. As uh, our leaders will greet the white flag, one lap remaining of the borderline speedway for Darren Giacometti as Lee Williams is fast closing. Darren Giacometti, Swartz is coming home here, but it might be a little too late. Giacometti through three and four for the final time. And Darren Giacometti, who was a late nomination, wins the first B main. Lee Williams will finish second. Neil Witness will finish third and qualify, and Steve Swartz finishes fourth and misses out on a transfer spot in tonight's national title. Great performance. The late nomination of Darren Giacometti, and he will be happy about his decision to come to the national title as he wins the B main here on national title night.